I'm here with the head coach of the Wesley College Wolverines, Mike Drass, as we get ready for this week's playoff opener against North Carolina Wesleyan. And, Coach, first of all, congratulations on finishing off the 10-0 regular season. Certainly in dramatic fashion, they had the ball with a 28-17 lead in your defense, and then your offense were able to get the job done. Well, I think as a team we really uh, came back and after a third quarter where we played without some composure and made some mental mistakes and some physical mistakes. Uh, and i got to be careful when I say that because you can't take anything away from uh, how Dominican. They put some pressure on us for us to make those mistakes, and they capitalized on those mistakes. So uh, in the fourth quarter, we kind of regrouped, you know, pulled everything back in tight and, you know, talked about you know what we're fighting for here and you know focus on beating a good football team and realizing that's not out of out of control out of hand here we can get this done and uh, our kids fought back and i was real proud of them now i know you never want to be down in the game but was it nice to get that kind of a learning experience especially because the team had only been down once all season and that was the three nothing deficit early in the north greenville game well, you know, when you come back and win, you can always say that's nice. You know, you never want to be in a situation where you're down and then you never come back. <laughs> so it's, it's a great learning tool in that sense. But we're not going out on the field trying to come back and battle back <laughs> on opponents. Now, was anything said in in the defensive huddle when they came off after you guys get the touchdown to make it a five-point game? What was being said amongst the defense there is they get the ball back with the chance that really if they score on that drive, after the two-point conversion made it a three-point game, that could have conceivably put the game away. Yeah, and, and that's a situation where, you know, we just told our kids, right now we got to focus, we got to play smart. You know, we had two personal fouls earlier in the game that, you know, were just idiotic and ludicrous. I mean, we're killing ourselves in that respect. So uh, in the fourth quarter, we, we stepped back, you know, and just said, guys, what are we, what are we fighting for here? You know, where do we want to be? How do we want to get there? You know, and uh, let's play football together and get this done. Now that takes us through Saturday, Sunday, of course, the selection show, and you had mentioned before that you wanted to see the Wesley bracket. Sure enough, South bracket is the Wesley bracket. What does that say for this program? That the second time in the last four years, you are the top seed in the South. Well, we're real proud. We're real proud of that. Um, you know, that's something. You know, you hate to say, it, but you can only enjoy it for one day. You know, because <laughs> once the regular season's over and you make the tournament. Um, obviously it's you know one game seasons so now our guys are just focused on North Carolina Wesleyan and doing everything we can to to get a win on Saturday and uh, you can't get caught up in, in looking at those brackets and all that kind of stuff that'll that'll only hurt you on Saturday well let's talk about the battle in Bishops of course the great game back in 07 the season over you guys were able to come back and get the 34-31 win what do you remember about that game and what do you expect to see from NCW today well, I tell you what, I really this is a. I think you might see the two fastest teams uh, of anyone on of the 32 teams playing on Saturday. They, they're they have tremendous speed. You know, uh, Orlando Webb. I think we, I think we had something to do with turning him into an All American a couple of years ago. Uh, now he did all the work. Um, you know, a very good quarterback, extremely efficient, real tough kid. Um, you know, he just you watch him on film, and he's making all the right choices. So, uh, you know, they have a great signal caller. They got some great receivers. Um, two uh, Haywood and and and, and the Bush kid are just, I mean, two great running backs. Um, so, I mean, we got to work it out for us. I mean, that offense that they have has pretty much destroyed everyone they've seen. So that's going to be a big challenge. Now, do they run you a little bit of Ohio Wesleyan? Is there any comparison between the two offenses? Um, they remind us of us a little bit. You know, uh, to be honest with you, I mean, that, that's a, you know, they do a great job, you know, running the zone. They do an outstanding job on uh, finding open areas. You know, their their guys are going to try and, you know, sit, you know, find the open area between the linebackers and safeties, and, you know, the, the quarterback gets the ball right in there. They do a super job on their counter pass game. You know, all things that we've seen, but uh, they do a real good job with it. Now, defensively, what do you expect to see from them this afternoon? I think they're going to, you know, obviously I think they're going to, you know, when we look at them, they have two great defensive ends. You know, the All-American defensive end um, in Boykin. Uh, they have a nose guard that's 6'3", 295. Yeah, you know, I don't think their D-line gets as much credit, you know, as, as they deserve. You know, that whole theme of being able to run, you know, and athleticism. You know, this is a back seven that's going to run through the football 
um, similar to what we believe in. So uh, and I think you're going to see a lot of heads are going to get in a little whiplash <laughs> you know, on Saturday afternoon. Now Wesley will advance to the second round if? We win. Is that a good answer? Is that a bad answer? <laughs> I you know I, I you know it comes down to simple uh, you know a simple statement you know the team that out executes the or their opponent will win you know and I think that is something that we've been talking about all year and something that you just had to stay strong with well best of luck getting that win this afternoon thank you